good morning guys. I'm just making my way out to my trail camera. I got about three days off. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to come out to my winter camp. When I left the house this morning, it was minus 46 wind chill. And I'm guessing out in the open right now, it's over minus 50. Very cold. Uh, it took forever just to get my backpack on. So, I put together this little montage so I can save some battery power and I'll see you at the trail camera. I'm just down from my trail camera. Had to stop and build a fire. My feet were just freezing. I think uh, my boots were just too cold when I put them on. Normally I don't get cold. My trail camera is working even in these cold temperatures. I was going to move it today but it's way too cold for that. So I just swapped out SD cards. I'm going to warm up by the fire for a bit longer and head to winter camp. I just made it out to winter camp. There's my list of chores from last time. Brought out a few more supplies, snare wire, some bird seed, a stovepipe elbow. I couldn't fix that furnace ducting so I had to go buy an elbow. And one thing I forgot to do at my trail cam was put out some Vicks Vapor Rub. I heard it's a pretty good lure. I want to try uh, attracting some different animals, maybe some uh, Martin or Lynx, uh, Fishers, stuff like that.
There, after a lot of swearing, I finally got this air intake on. I mean a lot of swearing. It runs from outside. Got two pieces of furnace ducting, stove pipe, and elbow. Runs up into the bottom of my stove. The point of this is, is to draw air from outside instead of using up the air inside. Mainly for when I do overnighters, it should make it safer. Another thing I did is I have this grating that helps keep the fire off the ground a bit or off the bottom of the stove. And I noticed that for cooking, I'm not really getting enough heat. So I stuck a couple of logs underneath there to raise it up and hopefully it'll be a little bit hotter. I also stuck a piece of tin in the front to help keep uh, logs from falling out. So I had to get this up and running before I could light my stove. So now I'm going to give this a test burn. The stove's finally starting to draw. I couldn't even sit in here, it was just smoking so bad. I don't know what the problem is. I even put a little baffle on here. The only way it would stop smoking is if I had the door open. So this baffle, this helps keep the, the flames and sparks from coming out of the stove too much. It's got some soup on the go. It's all I brought out with me today. I'm going to a Christmas dinner tonight, so I'll try to film some of that if I can. So I finally decided I'm going to take home this piece of petrified wood. It's been out here for a couple of years, probably about 15-20 pounds. And because I didn't bring out any pots and pans, I think I have enough room for it in my pack. Some of you guys already know that I collect petrified wood. I have quite the collection at home along with feathers, skulls, chaga. I do some gold panning. It all depends on what time of the year of course. And I made some of these fire pucks. I collected about three quarters of a gallon of pine sap and I melt the pine sap with cattail fluff, uh, torn up jute twine, birch bark, you know, all that kind of stuff. Really good for emergency situations to get a fire going right away. Smells really nice too. You can see my gin starting to freeze up, and that's 43% alcohol. Stove is hungry today. And once again, I didn't really gain anything with my firewood today. Pretty much uh, replaced everything I'm burning.
stove is just nice and warm to the touch. Drying my gloves and my face mask. Just finished having a good shave, washed up with some soap. And the reason for that is I have to head straight from here to the Christmas dinner. I got about two and a half hours. So I'm gonna clean up, start heading back. Hopefully my car will start. <laughs> 